So let's write this down. We got force is mass times acceleration. Weight, like I said, is a special kind of force given by a small w. And that's equal to mass times an special acceleration, which is called g, which is the acceleration due to gravity. And you've heard about this. People talking about, you know, I had a 3 or 4 g turn. Uh, they talk about acceleration in terms of g's, and that's gravities. G is equal to 9.8 meters per second per second, or 9.8 meters per second squared. That's the acceleration you have when you fall. In English units, it's about 32 feet per second squared. So you speed up by 32 feet per second each second. Okay. Now, the total units, let me just get rid of this. Let's see what kind of units we get. I'll write down F equals MA. The units of mass are kilograms. We write them as kg. They can also be grams, but typically we use kilograms for this. In metric, the units for acceleration are meters per second per second, which is meters per second squared. And that's equal to something called a Newton, named after Isaac Newton. So I'm going to write that one. Let's see, I'll write that Newton, N E W. T O N, given by a capital N, kilogram meters per second squared. Now, in English units, I'll write this down, this is metric. In English units, the mass of an object, the unit is called a slug. We never use slugs. But that's what it's that's what it's called. And acceleration is feet per second squared. And a slug foot per second squared, uh, that's called a pound. So here's the deal. If you're looking in uh, metric units, they talk about, metric people talk about kilograms. They talk about mass, whereas we always talk about force. We talk about weight in pounds. And this is the trickiest part of this class in that most times people are talking about mass everywhere else in the world. We're talking about weight or force. But a pound is a slug foot per second, units of mass times acceleration. Just like a newton is units of mass times acceleration, kilograms times meters per second squared. So let's do an example. Example. I've got a mass of two kilograms. And I want to know, and it's hanging from, uh, it's a block with a mass of two kilograms hanging from a ceiling. It's being pulled down by gravity. And I want to know, what's the weight? Well, the weight is mass times gravity, which would be two kilograms, that's the mass, times 9.8 meters per second squared, and that would be 19.6 kilograms, right? You use the units just like you do the, your numbers. You multiply them together, kilograms times meters per second squared, and that's equal to 19.6 newtons. I'll circle that. Okay, so that's the difference between mass and weight. My mass, I've got a mass of about uh, 87 kilograms. And my mass is going to be the same whether I'm here on the Earth or I'm on the Moon. Or even in space where I'm weightless. My mass is the same, it's still me. Gravity determines what my weight is, how much I'm pulled down. So my weight would be zero in space. Uh, it would be about... Let's see, it's about 200 pounds right now because of the gravity of the Earth. The gravitational pull of the moon is less. Uh, there my mass would be, or my weight, excuse me, would be about uh, 60 pounds or so. 
So that's the difference between mass and weight. Your mass is the same everywhere. Gravity determines what your weight is. Weight is mass times gravity.